Thank you. Thank you, Professor Barra, for your kind introduction of myself. So it's a great pleasure for me to have an opportunity to some explanation of South Place today. And today I have uh, mm, three main content. Uh, Thank you. The main one is that first I introduce the technical target in sheet metal forming. We discussed about the strategy of sheet metal forming technology and the government councils. And the first time we discussed about these problems in uh, 2001. And next chance we discuss about these problems 2008. So today I introduced the discussion result in 2008. And next uh, I explained about server place to support advancement of sheet metal forming. And also we have uh, some ex uh, expectations to improve of forming of hard formable metal sheets by subplace. So I introduce about these problems. And uh, finally, I have a short presentation about the future of subplace. And the first is a target, technical target in sheet metal forming. And of course, we have many problems to be soluble in sheet metal forming. First one is environmental protection issues. And also, recently we have a many product, uh, we, we supplied a many products to in the many industries. And at that time, we made uh, products in the small quantity and also diverse, diversified products. And also, we, when we make a very small, precise products, we need high precision forming. And also, before I said, the forming of hard formable materials like high strength steel sheets, aluminum alloy sheets, magnesium, and also recently we try to stamping of CFRP. And of course, in the industry, the cost reduction is very, very important, especially when we um, export. At that time, the global competition is a very, very important problem. So the cost reduction also is needed. And improvement of productivity. Oh, this one is international competition through this, the, through the of these problems. So we, at first we established the strategy of material processing technology. And the uh, technical, technical target in sheet metal forming, we discussed about this problem. And finally, we <coughs> show the innovative next generation technology. And technical target in sheet metal forming, I repeat again. So the first one is uh, manufacturing of high performance products with high precision and high added value. And also, if possible, we want to change the manufacturing method to sheet metal forming techniques. For example, from casting or machining, etc. And also, we need respond small quantity production of diversified products. 
and also stable production is also important and uh, less environment impact and uh, usually the many products in sheet metal forming uh, supply to the mainly automobile company and electric, electric companies but also we must consider about the supply the stamped products to the new industries, for example, robot or medical, etc. And also the production facility corresponding to global productions. So everywhere we can make the same quality products we want. And also the for the realized these problems, we need to develop the advanced simulation technology. And this is the innovative next generation technology of sheet metal forming we summarized. Of course, there is a user needs and uh, future technology we can considered about the uh, net shape forming with high value added and also intelligent forming techniques and environment techniques and price competition. And if possible, we made uh, only one product by sheet metal forming. And when we want to develop the sheet metal forming techniques, we need uh, Several components. One is a dies, and the other is machines. And today I want to introduce the new type of machi press machine, sub press. And for the realize, uh, in order to realize these problems, we need some intelligent technologies, uh, computer aided. engineering, which means uh, both hardware and software development in the CA we need. In this case, the simulation, measurement, and controls are included in these regions. And uh, new industry is not the automobile, electronics, but also robot or ultra fine or in this figure we don't, I don't show, but the medical area, we want to supply the products. Okay. So the next, I show the sub press to support advancement of sheet metal forming at present. Of course, Mm. Sheet metal forming consists of several elemental technologies. Of course, first one is the sheet materials, and press machine, and tools, and in case of stamping, lubrication have an uh, important role. And forming condition. This forming condition means uh, some uh, uh, forming speed or uh, other conditions. And uh, computer aided engineering supports the sheet metal forming also. And in the press machine, uh, recently many types of intelligent type press machine have been developed. And in this case, uh, numerical control of press machine. That means uh, for example, the sub press, we can control the slide motions by numerical control. And also, this is not realized, but uh, in the fu near future, we, we want to install the detective sensors for forming failures, such as uh, fracture or spring back, and so on and closed loop control of forming force and binding force of blank. This is already about to 
10 or 15 years ago, this system was reliable, but at present, the actual this control system um, is not so many, I think. And uh, press machine in the future is also march forming machine. For example, the march axis control types machine. And for this, uh, we want this to develop the, this type of machine. And in the process, we can uh, get the sub press. And the sub press has uh, the present sub presses have uh, the characteristics of one is optimization of slide motion, and the other type, the other one is uh, NC die cushion. I'm sorry, this in this case die is uh, disappeared, and. Uh, Sub press means a press machine controlled by sub system for forming and forging. And there are two types. One is a mechanical sub press, and the other is a hydraulic sub press. This is a simple configuration of uh, left side is mechanical sub press, and uh, this portion repaired uh, before uh, conventional. Press machine is a uh, moving of this rotation is a uh, link type, but in this area we set up the sub motors and uh, the, this rotation can be controlled by sub system, and uh, this type is uh, hydraulic sub press, and the most important. Future characteristics of servo press is free motion of slide. The slide motion can be is uh, controllable. And also, we have many new types of sub machine. Uh, the reason why we can get the new type sub press, one reason is. Uh, Sub motor, which can be very slow, but high torque and high response and a large load, such sub motors have been developed. And also, sub press, which have a closed loop control system and a full pressurization. This means a very high load conditions. And the third region is a uh, High precision press with precise control of the slide motion and high rigidity. Uh, former sub press is not good for the preciseness and also the rigidity. And now we can also get the march axis sub presses and also long slide sub press. And this uh, type Submachines have already Professor Barra's labels. Uh, and uh, other surplus uh, which have a high power and high capacity. So the new type of surplus have already developed, and the introduction of surplus in the stamping lines uh, includes, have been included. And this is a sample of uh, sub press. This is a little old one, but uh, this sub machine is developed by either engineering. And in this case, is they call it this machine, digital direct sub formers. And uh, in this case, the sub, sub motor and axis and drive shaft and main gear connect directly. And this submachine developed by Amada Company Limited and uh, the brand name SDE. Uh, this is normal sub press. So crank press is replaced in the sub press. In this case, 
crutch brake into submotor and fly oil into the condensers. And this machine needs a Komatsu servo press. Uh, Komatsu produce a very large servo press. Ah, I'm sorry, these data is obtained from the press machinery company, so mainly the little in Japanese. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't uh, translate it in English. So in this uh, sub case, uh, dual sub controller. There, its machine have a two sub motors and control these two types uh, independently. And uh, this is a uh, Hoden mm, Seimitz Kako Kenkyu Sho Company Limited. They produce a Zenformer. This machine uh, has a Professor Barras Labos. And in this sub press, they have uh, four independent sub motors and they control independently. So the preciseness, especially the parallel parallelity between upper and the lower slide is uh, control, controlled within the very precisely. And also this machine have uh, characteristics with a long slide. And other machine, this one is a long stroke type mechanical link sub press uh, developed by Amino. And also this is very long slide and in this case is a double link mechanisms. And Amino also developed have a very big hydraulic sub presses. This one is a hydraulic sub press, and left side is a trial press, and right hand side shows a sheet hydroforming machine controlled by sub motors. And this figure shows the ratio of sub press in mechanical press. Oh. Left side is a production value in Japanese yen, and the right side is a production volume. So, sub press just start 2001. The press machinery company start to sell sub press in the market, and 2003, the sub press is a 402 sub press was sold. And at that time, total number of mechanical press is about 3,000. So the ratio of sub press is 13 percentage. And uh, till the 2009, 2009, as you know, the Lehman shock happened and the economy in the world uh, seems like to be destroyed. So at that time, the production of press, mechanical press in Japan uh, decreased rapidly. And after then, the production of press machine recovered a little, but not, uh, the, not reached the level of before Lehman Shock. And two years ago, 2011, the total number of mechanical press in, produced in Japan is 1,570s. Uh, and uh, at that time, 516 presses uh, were sub press. So the number, uh, ratio of sub press in Japan two years ago is about 32, 33 sub. So one of third of mechanical press uh, sub presses. And this ratio perhaps will be Increased last year and also this year. So, 
So the many mm, user of stamping company want to use uh, server presses. But unfortunately, the price of server press is expensive. So the mm, decision of introduction of server press depend on the economy station. And this is a very old figure, I'm sorry, but the example of slide motion of sub press. There are many types of sub press uh, slide motion, and we can control this movement by uh, numerically. And this is also a very old figures uh, from Amada companies. So in sub press, we can move the many slide motion like this. The first one is soft motion. In this case, uh, when touch the punch into the metals, speed is very, become very low. And this is uh, go, go, go to the up, download and sometimes return to upper world. And this is the program we can make the suitable motion of slide. So there are many motion of slide, okay. And uh, especially the, there are typical characteristics of slide motion. The first one is inverse motion of slide. So the first slide, at first slide turns uh, downward and then upward uh, slightly, uh, several millimeters, and then downward and then upward. And motion can be repeated. So in this case, at the turning point from downward to upward, the forming force becomes zero. And so therefore, the elongation of slide of machine and also deformation of tools go back to original states. And at, so we can expect to improve the product accur accuracies. And also in this case, perhaps frictional characteristics changed. And in this case, the production rate is not so high. In general, very low. Ah, not very, but slow. And next feature of slide motion is a variable speed, acceleration, and the degradation function of slide. So slide speed can be changed. So it is possible to avoid the impact. When uh, usually the slide motion is very fast, and so the, when the contact, uh, when punch contact to materials, at that time, impact force ha happened. But before the contact of punch with uh, sheet materials, slide speed to go down and so there's no impact perhaps and of course in this case also we must consider frictional characteristic change and also material property change and third characteristics of slide motion is stop motion of at the bottom point. And this case is, uh, we call it coining mode. So the many times punch contact the materials at the bottom point. And also we can stopped the punch in the bottom point for several times. And this 
control behavior is an uh, important feature of the subways. And also, in this case, we can apply the coining pressure by stopping the slide for a few seconds at the bottom point. So it is thereby possible, for example, to suppress the spring back. But this behavior, sometimes we can observe, but uh, unfortunately, in the actual stamping line, these techniques is not applied to control the spring back or suppress spring back. And in this case, we must, we expect the deformation properties of materials such as internal structure and also internal structure change, we can expect. And so the, this slide motion leads to the development of new processing method. And also, recent server press uh, ha some company sells the uh, press with uh, MC directions. And in this case, the binder force can be variable, is variable. So the, with a the free motion of slide server press, incorporating a mechanical suppressing variable by these techniques has been developed. And in this case, a combination of a suitable combination of slide motion and this MC die cushion can be expected to improve the many objects, for example, the preciseness of products and also the expansion of forming limit, etc. But for this object, we need to examine the optimum process part. And also, these techniques have a great potential in the future in the processing technology. The next sh figure shows some sample MC direction, MC direction, and in this case is developed by Komatsu, and they have uh, AC subtypes. And in this case, the pressure force at the pad um, exchange to the rotation mode by the screw screw, and uh, this rotation have a uh, generate electricity, and uh, this generated electric powers, this uh, some um, loading consumption the electricity, and then uh, this uh, um, loading was, is controlled by uh, you make a control, and uh, we can obtain the arbitrary direct action force. So we return this. And the uh, surplus uh, have uh, many utilization. So at first, the improvement of productivity. And uh, the company which produce uh, stamp, stamped products, uh, they said when they introduce a sub press, the pro productivity of stamping was improved. Many companies say it. And also, sub press can be, can reduce the failure rate. Failure rate means uh, for example, we made 100 parts. One is bad for the failure or spring back, etc. But 
the reduction of failure rate can be expected by the servo press. And also the we can reduce of tool wear before because the touch speed between sheet material and the tools can be controlled so the tool wear will be improved. And also the decrease the number of steps of forming and reduction of the total processing of power consumption, energy consumption. And uh, also <coughs> when we introduce a sub press, we can improve the task by full tuning with peripherals for surrounding installations. And uh, degrees of freedom of equipment laid out also can be expected. And reduction of lead time. And increase in SPM, this means uh, improvement of productivities. And uh, for the improvement of environmental effect, we can expect and actually used for these purposes. The first one is noise reduction and low vibration. And other case is energy consumption decreased. And also this effect and uh, noise reduction and low vibration, we don't need uh, some additional installation of two machines, and also the tool wear were improved, so at that time we need uh, a small amount of uh, oil or machine oil, so the work environment will also improve. And as a advantage of uh, South Press is improvement of forming limit. So improvement of fracture limit. In the, some demonstration by press machinery companies, they show, they demonstrate the very hard formable materials can be formed easily. But I have some question or wonder. And also, the, if we use the servo press, we can ensure or and uh, enhance the shape and the dimensional accuracies. And uh, forming when we form of hard formable materials such as high strength steel sheets, stainless steels, aluminum alloys, magnesium alloy, titanium sheets, and also CFRP, etc. The servo press have uh, some merits. Give us some merits. So, for I show some example of forming of hard form of metal sheets by servo press, and this data is a little old, but uh, obtained from the press machinery companies. And the uh, first one is uh, just I carried out with my colleagues in the aluminum company and uh, automobile companies. Uh, this is a demonstration by IDA Engineering. And uh, this, in this case, they formed hat shape workpiece of high strength steels with uh, tensile strength of 590 megapascal. And uh, this product at first draw bend and then restrike and finally they can obtain the precise materials. In this case, the first step 
they draw like this hat shape. And then the they introduce a restriking pro process. And this bent corner reduced like this, very small one. And also total height is a little small. And they made these products only one shot by surplus. <coughs> In this case, the slide motion in hat shape forming is like this. First drawing, and then the little slide moves upward, and then this like process start, and finally like this. This is a slide motion in hat shape forming. Like this motion, slide moves like this. At first, draw bend, and then move and stay and restrict. It's a little fast. So, the this is the other motion, deep draw and restrict, and finally the <coughs> product we can obtain like this. So the hat shape work piece is the first step in the draw bend. In this case, the some uh, wall curl and uh, spring back and also totally the twist happens in this direction. But finally, the final shape of product is uh, normal, very good conditions. And the other case, they tried a uh, very high, ultra high strength steel sheets, 980 megapascal materials, like the um, battery, small size batteries. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps taken the very deep caps for these hi very high strength materials using by servo press. And as a case, this is not real production, but uh, this is, uh, we tried the uh, improvement of aluminum alloys for the door outer panel of cars, and in this case, uh, modified door, ah, I'm sorry, door outer, not door inner panels, modified door inner panels, and in this case, 6,000 series alloys we used, and the left side is forming limit is 100, this is a slide motion, slide motion speed is one meter per second, right hand side is half for 41 millimeter per second. In this case, fracture happened like this. But slide ver average slide, slide, slide velocity is high. In this case, we can get uh, successful stamped parts. And in this case, the stroke motion of forming of aluminum alloy is very high one is like this, and uh, in this, especially this portion is uh, contact with uh, punch and uh, aluminum alloy sheets. So this is uh, expanded showing, and so the average velocity of punch slide is uh, 103 and 105 millimeter per second like this. And uh, very low one is slide motion, a slide up speed in average is 41 meters like this. Uh, and uh, maximum forming limit height like this. And uh, when we apply the very high slide motion, 
we can get the successful parts. And this is also a little old one for the forming of magnesium alloy sheets uh, developed by an IDA engineering. And when we stamp the magnesium alloys in the room temperature, we cannot carry, we cannot carry out the forming of, form of magnesium alloys. Usually we need uh, a little high temperature, more than 200 or 250 degrees. So in for the magnesium alloy stamping, servo press is a good for the control of slide velocity like this. And this process, they through the blanking of sheet and next heating and stamping in the warm uh, warm conditions and then um, restrike and then finally products they obtained this is a motion of Sub press. Uh, this is not easy to the real uh, movement of the sub uh, slide motions, and then you can see the the first steps. Magnesium alloy is blanked, and then move this step. The sheet after blanking is uh, become more flat, and then this blank put into the furnace, and then heating, and after them stamping like this. The next process, the restriking and also trimming of stamped box and finally we can obtain the products. This mess of warming, uh, warm forming of magnesium alloy sheets uh, developed about more than six or seven years ago, but unfortunately this technique is not applied in the actual stamping line. And as a, uh, this is a real forming techniques, and the sub press applied to produce a high precision of fine products. Very small one is dynamic pressure bearing. This is a coining effect of group classes. So the, in this case, the coining mode, the slide motion stopped in the bottom point and uh, this uh, stopping time 0.5 seconds, one second and the group depth in these areas like this. So average the stopping time, a longer stopping type improved the uh, group depth. This target is uh, near one, one micrometers. And the other case, this is uh, developed by the HSK, then former. So this sub press have a very long slide. So in this case, one steps, blanking and uh, step form and piercing, punching, and uh, deep drawing and barring. And finally, the, this wall side was uh, surface forging and also make a pin and uh, piercing. So 
this process can be controlled only one motion of slide because of this sub press have a very long slide. So some, this technique is uh, applied for the produce of actual products. And so the, in the future, which direction sub press will be developed? Uh, this is the effect of sub drive uh, summarized by Komatsu Industries. And we expect, I repeat again and again, so the, when we use a sub press, the environment will be improved and operability. This means uh, directly connected with uh, productivities like this. And uh, accuracy of products and productivity. These are the expected when we use a sub dry press. And also for the work pieces, uh, hard formal materials can be formed using by sub press and low grade materials. And uh, Failure rate, for example, the in sharing NOVA or the stable product accuracies and reduced fracture and few scratches and stable transport. Uh, transport all in stamping lines very, very important. So the surplus, the movement of slide motion in surplus can be controlled. So the transportation system also can be introduced easily. And tool improvement. This is a very important problem, I think. The, in the conventional press machines, uh, when we blanking or punching, the punch breakage happens. And also for the forming of high strength steel sheets, we need some special soft treatment on the tools. And tool life reduced when we form very high strength materials. And we must improve the tool materials. And also simplify the structure of tools will be expected. And for the maintenance of tools become easy when we introduce a sub press. But this problem is not mm, resolved. And we need uh, some special structure or tool design for sub press machines. And other case, the step of processing is changed or improved by subpress. So there are many, many, many pro, uh, advantages can be expected subpress, but ah, I repeat again that when we use the subpress, we need a tool technology. This one. And the development of tools for sub press is very, very important. And in other case, of course, the promotion of use sub presses, we need to optimize the slide motion and uh, MC die cushion. And the combination of slide motion and MC die cushion also is very important. And also, when we want to optimize the slide motion and uh, MC die cushion, we need the numerical analysis. And if we want to carry out numerical analysis to optimize the slide motion and MC die cushions, 
At that case, we want the data for of rate sensitivity of material properties. For example, stress-strain relationship. And also the slide moves reversely. So in this case, we need the bouncing effects. And uh, the structs, stress relaxation behavior also is important. And uh, late sensitivity of frictional behavior. And also pressure sensitivity of frictional behavior, frictional characteristics. These parameters we want to precisely. And after then, through the numerical analysis, we can obtain the optimization of slide motion and MC digestion. So the development of new forming techniques uh, expected by South Press. And the first one is uh, conversion from conventional ways, for example, from casting or machining into the plastic working. And in the field of plastic working, from forging to plate forging, and uh, <coughs> as a case, as a process into sheet metal forming. And also complex processing can be expected, and plate forging, and not uh, constant speed, not constant speed, accelerated or decorative forming process can be developed by servo press. And also we expect to improve the forming of hard workable sheet materials. So South Press, we have imagined, ima we have imagined uh, many possibilities. But now, a uh, South Press is really useful. Perhaps this is the uh, yes, I say. And also South Press are used suitably so what purposes are server presses suitable for? And finally, the aspirant or the user are the functions of server press used efficiently. This process is very, very question I have. But in actual stamping processes, the pro productivity is improved and uh, vibration and uh, noise reduced and also for some products <coughs> the a little ha hard work formable materials can be formed using by sub press so the yes sub press can be used in the future, more and more. So the ending remarks, the future issue of sheet metal forming, we want to develop only one specific techniques. For example, we, when we use a sub press and for some products, we can develop very specific techniques. And uh, I repeat again and again, so environmental protection and also new products and new users we must develop. So for this object, the servo press can be expected, many possibility, and forming of hard form of sheet metals. Okay, and a few times remains. We have some joint activities between uh, Japan Society of Technology, ah, Japan Society for Technology of Plasticity, and Japan um, Stamping, um, Japan Metal Stamping Association. We have joint working for five years ago, ah, two years ago, for five years. 
And at that time, we considered about these problems before I explained. And we have uh, three working groups. One is a step forming working group. This working group have uh, tried to improve the sharing process. If we use a subpress and uh, we apply the step forming process in sharing process, the sharing shared portion is improved or not. They expected, ah, uh, investigated. And second working group is uh, coining pressure effect. And the third is the rate of dependence of material properties. And the step forming working group is the object is the basic research for the development of uh, processing method using the advantage of subpress such as variable slide motion and uh, evaluation of e effectiveness of stepping forming in sharing. And then they want to get the best condition of clearance in sharing. I'm sorry, these are written in Japanese. And the, the slide motion is like this, this step motion. And punched profile is like this. And this is a shared surface, uh, shared portion, uh, fracture portion, and the secondary sharing portion, shared portion. And some uh, change of slide motion like this, they applied. And uh, Sorry. Unfortunately, in this working group, they couldn't have a very good result. So no effective, no effects of step forming in the improvement of sharing processes. Perhaps the step forming is uh, good for the deep drawing. So the, at present, uh, new joint meeting, they are now investigate about the step forming in the deep drawing process. And the second working group is a coining pressure effects. And uh, in this case, they want to improve shape fixation and shape transfer of products by using the feature of subpress, which can stop the slide at the bottom point. And also, they want to clarify the mechanism and uh, its effect of actual processing. And through this experiment, they propose the effect of stress, stress relaxation effects at the bottom point should be considered, take account. And uh, of course, the coining pressure, pressure effect can be applied to spring back control effect. But these experiments have not been done. And in this case, very small product like this. This is a product of after coining and hot rolled steel sheets and the right side is aluminum alloys. And the profile of uh, profile is like this, circular, and the vertical profile is like this. And uh, slide motion is, this is only one step. In this case, the March coining system 
And the other case is a slide stop, punch stop at the bottom portion for several times, several seconds, like this. And in this case, uh, some effect they can obtain. And uh, they measure the spring back behavior like this. This is uh, just after the forming and remove the punch, the change of uh, this values. And they define the spring back ratio like this. And the other case, the transfer of shape of punch into the metals. And they also, the ratio of uh, shape transfer rate like this. So the coining mode, coining slide motion is uh, very effective. And uh, we want to apply the control or suppression of spring back of high strength steel sheets. And finally, late effect working group. In this working group, we measure the material property and the high deformation rate, and also the accelerated condition by subpress. And the purpose of this working group is collect the data of stress-strain relationship for numerical simulations. And the deformation rate is this rate means uh, slight motion, uh, slight speed. So from five to five hundred millimeter per second. And uh, this is a very high deformation mode, 500 mil millimeter per second. And uh, this is a slow, five millimeter per second. And uh, in this case, the uh, at first move, and both the this portion, both, and move, and this speed uh, is the five millimeter per second. After then, starting to tensile test, so like this. So we installed this uh, tensile equipment into the server press, and also we measure the deformation through by the high-speed cameras, and synchronized with the high-speed camera and uh, uh, load cells, and we obtain the stress-strain curve and there's a very high deformation rate for the four types of high strength steel sheets and aluminum alloys and stainless steels. And as a case, we need also the deformation rate sensitivity of frictional behavior. At that time, we cannot do it. Okay, so this is my rough presentation about the subpress in a few minutes, uh, less so have you any questions or comments?